Hi everybody and welcome back to POV Gaming with me Big J. I wanted to go ahead and share very quickly with you guys an exploit that's currently in the game for Cyberpunk to get eddies or the money in the game, which is a very simple process that involves cans. Um, there are these vending machines that are located throughout the map, some of them in greater quantities than others, but basically you can purchase these cans and disassemble them. You're going to need one thing in particular first, which is very easy to do. Um, you want to go over to your character, and it's going to be under your technical abilities. You just want to unlock the uh, mechanic as soon as you can. Gains more components when disassembling. If you don't have this, by the way, you can still do it. Uh, you'll you'll get a point, a perk point, very quickly from disassembling uh, in the beginning. So definitely, um, definitely don't be discouraged if you don't have this. It's very fast to get. You don't even need it technically for the very first part, but as soon as you're able to get a perk point into it, just go for it. Next part. You're going to want to go to these vending machines that sell cans, like the canned energy drinks type of thing. And you want to look for the ones that have 10 bucks. They're like 10 bucks a piece. And you're just going to buy them. Um, these are all touch sensitive, like depending on which one you're hovering over, will give you that particular brand of, of soda or uh, energy drink. So I kind of tried my best to keep to one, it just makes it faster to do this. So you basically want to buy up as much as you can from each vending machine, like that. Pretty much just spam the button. Some machines will give you more than others, so sometimes you'll only get like a few, and then other times you'll just get an absolute ton. Uh, this one's, yeah, there we go. Um, something I need, I definitely want to point out that at least it's bugged on my system. It might not be bugged on yours. But I found that on these machines right here, where it has this lady on it, you're going to notice that they has either sometimes two flavors or three, but usually all of them will have this green one or the lime flavor. You don't want to grab this one. On mine, it's bugged, so it's probably it's bugged on yours too. Don't even go for it. Select one next to it and spam that instead. For some reason, the green ones will not allow you to disassemble. I'm not too sure why, but basically, you want to go down this whole row, find each one that it's 10 bucks a piece, and I'll show you exactly where it is on the map here. Going to the map, you're going to be looking for the Kambuki district, which is located right about here. It's located within the, the larger Watson area, but it's this little sliver right next to the waterfront, and this, this area right here is located kind of on top of a walkway. You'll have to go up a, um, a staircase to get here. But keep in mind, these are pretty much everywhere. I th Actually, I know of another one. I should have marked it on the map, but it's a nice, huge square filled with them, basically. Um, this is the one that was pointed out in the Reddit thread, because like, this is how I found out about it. Um, it was via Reddit. So I will join you guys as soon as I get back to you. But yeah, you just want to keep buying them uh, as much as you can. Right there, guys, that's a good that's a good indication that the game has glitched on you a little bit. So don't keep spamming a button. If you see nothing's coming out, don't hit the button because the game is still going to deduct that from you. Oh, I missed one on the ground. So the next part of this is you're going to be going into your inventory real quick. You're going to go under your backpack. You're going to see your canned beverages right here. You're just going to hover over them, and you're just going to go ahead and disassemble the item. And you're going to see here it's going to give you common components common item components and then uncommon item components. So as you can see you spend 10 bucks or 10 eddies on a single can, right? When you break it down it gives you a ton of them. Let's see we're at 278 we got uh, what, what do we got here 28 cans right 278 28 cans this is some of the item boom we're at 460. You guys are going to quickly see how this means a lot because each of these parts are worth five bucks. <laughs> um, and each of these are worth eight bucks. You can quickly see how this can spiral into a very easy way to make money. Um, and very quickly too. Um, pretty much any beverage container that's 10 bucks in the game, sometimes you can find them randomly. Especially if you're, especially if you're like me, a person who likes going through missions 
and just picking up all the bunch of random shit. Um, I definitely do that a lot. And this is an easy way to do this. So I'm going to show you guys the next step of this, which is to simply find yourself a Dropbox, like this one right here. It's drop point. Now I'm going to join you guys once I get down there, but I'm fairly confident that mine is still depleted. I'll, I'll double check here. Yes, it is. As you guys can see, I already did this one earlier. I got 129 left inside these machines. Each of the machines, they only hold something like, I think they're 20... 20,000? 20, uh, I think it's like 20,000 eddies or something like that, so... Um, you can see, though, what you can buy... <laughs> what you're able to buy with your uh, money. Where'd my doors go? Where did my doors go, guys? <laughs> what happened? What, what the heck even happened here? How many, how many people did this thing kill? Anyways, guys, I'm going to go to another one that's really close. But basically, at that point, that's all you have to do is just sell it. But I will show you what it's like when you do sell it and how much money you can make. There is one. There's usually drop boxes located throughout the whole city. You won't go more than a block without finding like two or three of them. Like this one right here. This is gonna, gonna have to fix this thing. <laughs> Anyways, go over to sell. Right, you can see I was already here once before. I've kind of depleted all the machines in the neighborhoods as I've been doing this. <laughs> so, um, you just go over to it. You're gonna hit sell. Max it out. Like that. Boom. There you go. And then I have a ton of these. I don't even know. Does the machine even have enough of this? Ooh, just barely. Boom. And there you guys go. Uh, when I started this exploit, I had something like twelve thousand dollars. I was able to do the. I was able to do it like four times. Had just under fifty thousand, something like that. Hey guys, this is actually Big J here in the editing bay. I almost forgot to mention this at the end of the video. But you can do this multiple times over and over again. I forgot to show it in the video, but all you have to do if you want to repeat this is basically go back to where the vending machines are, save your game, load. Every one of those machines that you are interacting with will now be replenished, and you can just redo it over and over and over again. The only thing that doesn't replenish is the machines. I don't know how often the game does decide that um, those drop points get money again, but yeah, that's all you have to do. You'll just have to reload and um, make sure you save, reload, do it again multiple times over. And try your best to do this as many times as you can because I'm pretty sure it's going to be patched today. It's already been patched on PS4 apparently. The PS5, the Xbox, uh, and the Xbox platforms have not been patched yet. And uh, as you can see, uh, me on PC it has not been patched yet. But thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And peace out and take care.